That powerful windstorm that swept through central Oregon overnight toppled trees onto homes in several locations. We begin our storm team coverage with Blake Allen and sisters. Efforts to clean debris underway as winds in the Sisters region reached over 50 miles an hour Thursday night. For Tabitha Hammond's mother, she slept through the night only to wake up to an unlivable house on South 1st Street. The water line broke, so there's no water, and there's two holes in the ceiling, so, um, and they can't use the heat yet because of the branches and stuff on the roof. Hammond says while the Red Cross is helping her mom find a place to stay through the weekend, the uncertainty left by the weather event remains. She's pretty emotional. She's really scared. She doesn't know where she's going to go if they can't fix the house. Just down the road, Scotty Olson says he didn't hear the commotion, but did hear the wind. Just the wind was howling all night long, so it was, it was, it, it's pretty concerning with all the big pondos out here. Olson says when winds pick up, it can be frightening in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, it's it's pretty, it's pretty kind of scary at night and stuff. So you, you don't know if something's going to come down on top of you or your car, or something like that. And you know, Sisters is notorious for that to happen. And while the wind caused its damage, there is some silver lining as there were no reported injuries in town. Yeah, thank God nobody was hurt. In Sisters, Blake Allen, News Channel 21.